Hello and welcome to free VBA tips. Today I am going to show you how you can add a shortcut in the menu bar and then have your macro run from the menu bar. If I click on this, your macro is running. In case you want to remove this shortcut, you will also have a button to remove this shortcut. Now the shortcut has been removed. Let me show you how we can create this automation step by step. First of all, we have to open a blank Excel file. Let me close this one. Now we have to create two buttons. Go to developer tab and then go to form control. In case you don't know how to get the developer tab, you can watch my other videos. This is my button one. Edit text and then put add menu. And then just copy paste over here and then put remove menu now I have to hit alt F11 and then if you don't have a module over here you can just click on insert and click on module now I will write a procedure to add a shortcut so begin with sub add menu item then define item as command control command bar control then set item equal to command bar one now i'm adding control on the menu bar the format now what should be the name dot caption I will be using ampersand to begin with run macro one and then item dot on action but what should run on action if someone clicks on this run macro one and then item dot begin group equal to true let me just zoom it so that you can see it and before that let me just run it so if I click on add menu I have to first assign this to add menu I right click and assign macro and I choose add menu item if I click on this I get an error wow so item equal to command bars dot controls okay dot controls okay perfect so if we click on add menu you see that macro has been added there are two now right now because i clicked on this twice so i'll also show you how we can remove it perfect so this code is working so let me just zoom it so that you can also make a copy of this so here is my remove spaces so this is the code you can pause here and write the same code let me come back over here now I will write a code to remove the menu so sub this is a procedure and then remove menu item 
and then to remove a menu item i would write command bars one dot controls the format dot I could close dot c o n c o n t r o l s controls and then dot delete under this i will just just copy paste this one so it should be the exactly same the caption and this one should be the same and let me just write on error resume next so that if there is any error it should still run and i right click and assign macro to remove so this has been assigned to remove this button let me click this perfect so everything has been removed now if i am clicking on this one and there are multiple buttons getting added so i want to ensure that it should remove a button and then add a button so let me just uh, use a call over here i will just call this procedure over here so that it will remove the item and then add the item so let me just remove something if i add now 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 if you notice that there are no duplicates being added and let me just zoom the code so that you can make a copy of this spaces over here so this was my first code i have added a call over here so that we remove the item and then we add a new item and this is the remove menu procedure you can pause and then make a note of this now we are done with both the buttons and now i want to create a macro so let me just write something over here say class okay let me just click on macro first and record a macro so i go to view and record a macro and write student name deepak karan tapan rahul aman and then i can just color this one as yellow let me make it a little larger and then i can stop my macro from here as well or i can go to view and stop my macro if i hit alt f11 you can see my macro has been recorded in module 2 i will just copy this and paste below this carefully now my macro name is macro 2 and the macro which i am running from the men menu is actually looking for run macro 1 procedure so uh, what i will do is i'll just rename this macro 2 to, to run macro 1 so the macro name you see on action dot action you should just copy paste that and replace with the existing macro that you have recorded and let me see how this works so i'm deleting this for now and if i click on add menu so my macro is here if i run this macro then automatically this particular macro should run so i hope this makes sense this was a very simple automation if you have any issues uh, you can ask me in comments thank you for watching and for similar kind of videos you can also subscribe to my channel take care and bye